we are back in the Frostpunk 2 beta. This time we are finding oil. I want to take a look at the second ending that this preview has to offer. Also, we're going to take our time a little bit, try and fully optimize our district so we can take uh, take advantage of the workforce bonuses, heat bonuses, things like that. So that should be pretty cool to see. First of all, though, we need to break ground, of course, and we're going to do a lot of frost breaking to begin with because we've got a lot of workforce, so we may as well put them to use. Uh, just first of all, open up the coal deposit over here. I'm going to open up a little bit more space around the back as well. So we'll get that going. I also want to open up this area here. So these are just uh, logs and that's going to allow us to ma uh, make materials. I'm going to make this section into like a little industrial area so we'll be doing goods over here as well uh, so yeah let's get a like a fairly large area opened up i'll do yeah that will do for now i do need to open up a little bit more space over there uh, i will open up this line here as well just so we can expand our food our food area which is like going to be here and i do want to open up the way station over here so we can get exploring as quickly as possible i am going to open up this area up here as well uh, for more food because i feel like we may need that a little bit later on i think that's okay for now so yeah let's wait for this frost breaking to happen over here and then we'll get the extraction district down for our coal deposit I want to start stockpiling coal pretty quickly because <laughs> I feel like no time passes and it, and it gets to the white out and you're just so unprepared for it. Uh, saying that, let's get food underway as well. Uh, we have got a little bit of a stockpile of food actually, so I'm going to leave that, you know. Let's do the extraction district over here for materials. That will be useful to have. I'm going to do a little bit of a weird layout over there so we do need to make housing we'll leave that for a little bit right there's a couple of things i wanted to to just optimize already so i'm going to expand this and yeah like i said i want to start stockpiling that as soon as we can I'm going to start using these air transport hubs as well. I'm going to whack one right there. That will reduce the amount of workers we need in that district. So I think it reduces it by 200, but it does take 50 to build. So overall, you get 150 workers less needed, which is which is good. Uh, we'll expand this materials one as well, just so we're covering all of those resource deposits. And then I do want to get the goods one down as well, don't I? So the industrial district here. I'm going to put it in the middle here because you can see we get a bonus of minus 50 workforce if we have districts next to each other. So we can reduce the amount of workers we need by 150 there. And also, if I put an air transport hub right in the middle there, that's going to reduce the amount of workforce we need as well. So, like I said, we're going fully optimization here. <laughs> so, right, let's get food sorted. Um, because I want to get... Well, saying that, we haven't got enough heat stamps now. Um, we need to get housing sorted, but I do want to get food sorted as well. Just for, like, optimization reasons. Which should become apparent in a bit. So, just waiting for the heat stamps to increase enough that's a hundred that's a hundred so yeah let's get this one down so i'm going to do a little bit of a weird layout here so we'll do three and three like that let's run it forward a little bit so it's built and this is going to allow us to share heat between districts which is going to be really useful that will reduce the amount of coal that we need so here we've got Plus 10 heat, you can get that up to three times by placing housing districts next to uh, food districts. But also we can get it in proximity of the generator for an extra five, up to three times as well. 
bit of a weird layout, but that gives us an extra 45, uh, an extra 45, you know, heat in our in our stockpile. Some people did just die, and that's because they didn't have any housing. But well, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I say some people, 120 people. It's a lot of people, but we'll go with it. Okay. We down, uh, now need to do another housing district. I'm going to, again, use the bonuses. But this time, we can actually get bonuses from the housing district already uh, already placed down. So, again, just trying to optimise as much as possible on our, on our resources. We are still in a little bit of a deficit on goods. So, I'm going to expand this. Let's expand it like that that's all good there and if we need to we can like do another goods fact uh, goods district or industrial district but i don't think we will need to okay we are going to need a research institute next that's going to be the next thing uh deaths from cold it's just because people didn't have any housing that's why i'm assuming we are spending food so i'm wondering do we expand that we'll expand that in a little bit just because i want to want to get the research station down uh, research station research institute we now uh, we need to expand something first i'll expand this one again we can get bonuses from the generator by placing them next to it and then we can get the research institute down once we have enough heat stamps <laughs> i think the first port of call here for laws will be doing immigration laws maybe. I think doing productive workers coming in will be good because that gives us more workers and more heat stamps. So I think that'll be that'll be good. We are required to do coal mines. I'm going to do this one here. The grinding coal machine. It gives us more coal and it requires less workers. So we'll definitely do that. Again, once we have enough um, heat stamps, which we should have now. Yeah, there we go. Grinding coal mine, we'll get that. Did that start researching? No, it didn't. There we go. We're all good there. While we're here, I am gonna expand this. So again, we're just gonna expand it, trying to make as much use of sharing heat between districts and I feel like I need another another one up here like another another zone doing material so I'll open up I'll open up this here we have got a lot of workers you know so all good all good here Yeah, it's just gonna be it's just gonna be heat stamps now that we're waiting for. Uh, stockpiles depleted. Uh, the materials has run out. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna need another materials one. We can't expand that any further. So I think yeah, the next thing up here will be getting those all good. Uh, goods is stockpiling, which I like to see. So we're good good on that for now. Temperature has decreased. Which is not ideal, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it for now. <laughs> we are still, well, we're spending coal now from the stockpile. So we may have to sort that out in a bit. However, I want to get this material sorted out first. So I'm going to do that like that. I am going to put a an air transport hub down when I can. And I do need to get a food district up there as well. Right, the grinding coal mine has been researched. We do need to build that. Let's get that. Uh, let's get that down. That's going to be really helpful for our coal situation once that is built. And all good. We now need the laws, and we're back to stockpiling. Uh, we're back to stockpiling coal, which is. I uh, love to see it. I love to see it. 
cool. In terms of this, I feel like People are getting sick quite a bit, aren't they? So we'll, we'll go for hospital when we can. But I do need to get the council hall built as my next thing. So there we go. We'll whack that right in the middle. We are spending food, we're spending materials. So I'm wondering, do I need to expand that? Okay. These guys are meeting for the first time. Like I said, I want to do the immigration, don't I? So we'll do allow productive insiders, or sorry, allow productive outsiders inside. So this is going to be like growing our population and heat heat stamps per capita is increased so that will give us more heat stamps over the over the course of the game which is going to be very useful cool that was close 51 4 that was very very close okay the frost land has opened up so i do want to get that explored very quickly so i'm thinking that's going to be the next thing we do uh, the ice bloods have now formed. I see, I see. Don't worry about it. But for now, let's expand. I say this, I want to kind of break a bit more ground over here. So we can expand the other direction. Because our food, our food situation is not looking great either so let's do a research i'm gonna do I, I said i was gonna do hospital didn't i but i think we will do hot houses so yeah we'll do the the bio waste drum hot house we'll try and get that down but i want to get scouts out onto the frostland asap i'm wondering how many heat stamps 150 heat stamps and 600 workforce it's a lot of workforce i tell you that's a lot ice buds want to steer the city closer to ideals i think um things are going wrong we're not going to worry about all of that we just want to find we just want to find the um the oil that's all we want cool so industrial uh, sorry the logistics district will be up and running right now that's all good and we can sign another law so let's do this one because heat stamps in, uh, income per capita is increased and resource production efficiency will be increased as well so i think that's two very good things that we kind of need right now the boats are in. easy pass paid essentials is now in force and i did say i want to break over to this wayfinding station didn't i but again we just need a few few more heat stamps for that so let's go yeah let's go and do that right now cool so we're stockpiling materials we're stockpiling goods we're stockpiling coal which is really good I'm wondering we may need a you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a uh, what you call it I'm gonna put a <laughs> fuel depot down uh, 150 150 heat stamps so for that okay scale the frost land we are open we've opened up the frost land first of all let's take a look at that just around the river bend I see this tells us basically where to go to find the oil we've got arrow like an arrow right there so We'll make our way oh when we can over to the valley we'll launch the expedition there and the growing hunger yeah hunger is not great is it so let's get another food district sorted we don't really want it next to that so we'll have to go down this way it's the price you got to pay, though. 
<laughs> so what we can do up here is get an air transport hub in the middle and that will reduce the workforce of each zone by 200 so that'll give us another 400 people back so that will be very useful uh, logistics that will be open up very soon we need a stockpile of more coal don't we so let's get another law enacted let's see what else we can do I'm thinking anything to raise the amount of heat stamps we we get so none of those economy no yeah here we go service exemptions let's propose that again this should give us more heat stamps per per capita and allow us to build a bit more like a, like a bit more quickly that's what i'm hoping anyway and then in terms of this we need another so we can build a hot house i'm thinking we do hospital now and then but the ice pods want recovery hospital yeah let's do that one because i feel like that's better it does take a lot well a bit more heat but i think we're good for i think we're good for that at the moment housing we do need a bit more housing so again we'll just wait for that <laughs> wait for that like heat stamps to to come into effect and we do need you know what we do need we need more materials that's what we need we need more of everything that's that's one of the things in frostbite you need more of everything at all times cool we do need child we are going to do child labor and then a white out is coming in 80 weeks not good five children just perished not ideal okay all good there we are gonna just explore here so have a look mega coal mine we're not going to connect a, tra a trail just yet because it's going to take frostland teams we want to go out to these flags really and follow the arrows to where where it's going to take us hopefully the oil cool so the technocrats have just formed i see i see don't worry about it Let's get that childhood law passed. I want to do family apprentice. So, yep, yeah, let's vote for that. Hopefully it gets passed. It was pretty close. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Easy pass. Cool. So in terms of food, I'm going to get one of these down. grinding coal mine industrial you know what i feel like instead of building more more of these i feel like we should probably research things that enhance our districts that we've already got down right goods is looking okay food is now stockpiling you see so that was that was very good so we just do need to do the same for the materials are uh, okay these guys are protesting repeal productive outsiders was that the goods right that's the goods so we're spending goods that's fine but we are stockpiling materials now there's so much going on <laughs> there's so much going on Okay, I'm going to do the sawmill now. Let's do let's do that one mechanized sawmill. And I do need to sort ah oh, yeah, I do need to sort that dough knife. So repeal the productive outsiders. In terms of logistics, these again just happened. So I see this is now pointing us this direction. We need 20 20 work uh, sorry 20 exploration teams for that so we'll start with another logistics 
district up here. I'm going to put a transport hub there. And a transport hub. Like, not over there. I'm getting lost. Where am I going? Over here. <laughs> we'll put one right here. Again, that's just going to reduce the amount of work as we need for those. Um, housing. I do need to get housing, don't I? Again, we just need just need heat stamps coming in, which is our main main issue. So, Iceblood rallies build support. Um, cool. They started gathering for rallies supporting your rule. We should move to a society built upon tradition, upon merit or adaption. Let's do that one. In terms of food, or these, these are getting a little bit low, so I'm going to fund, I'm not going to fund projects, I'm going to grant the agenda. And while we're waiting for that, did that, did that happen? Yeah, so that, <laughs> I was like, what's happened there? So that has now... Um, the strike that has happened there is now have now finished. So that's all good. Uh, what's going on over here? I wanted to expand this, didn't I? Okay, we shall expand, and we do have the sawmills now, don't we? We've got the recovery hospital. Let's build that. Where can I build it? I need to expand. So yeah, let's expand that one. We'll get the recovery hospital down. We can do another research. Goods factory. That might be good. Yeah, let's develop that idea. And we do have enough logistics workers now to go exp uh, exploring again. So, oh, what's that? Paid essential orders remained unchanged. Yeah, let's head over to Glacier. We'll launch that expedition. 34 weeks to get over there, which is not not ideal but we shall see how they go we actually have got a couple of laws that speed up the expeditions which I think we may need to do if we want to find the oil in time but we're looking we're looking good at the moment we're looking good I'm gonna do a little bit more housing I know we just expanded that but we'll do a bit more so I kind of want to yeah let's get it like up here for three bonus on the heat there and then we'll snake it down there that'll increase the heat reduce the amount of coal we need stockpiling that materials oh let's build the sawmill right mechanized sawmill we'll, we'll build that there and this is an iron deposit so we don't have anything we can do there Food is stockpiling goods. We, we're going to do goods factory, I think. So we'll get that built. In terms of laws, again, let's just see if we can do one that is going to help us with the exploration. No, so this one, we, can't, we don't have them unlocked yet. So is what it is. Let's do this one, though. Mass produce goods. Let's vote for that. It's, again, it's a little bit close, but we'll see if it passes. This should help us with getting goods into the into the green. Rally begins collapsing. Your relations with ice buds have deteriorated. Oh no! Anyway, <laughs> let's um, let's see what we need to do. I feel like we need some more materials coming in, right? So let's start breaking ground over this way. What I should have done, and what I am going to do actually, I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this one, this air transport hub here. I'm going to build another one in between the logistics and this new industrial zone or extraction zone so we're going to be doing right here so one two three four 
there we go fantastic that will that will help us with this these guys are still exploring exploring that I'm wondering do we need another do we need another coal mine up and running I think we do because we're spending we're spending a lot of coal now and we do need more we need more workers we need more workers so actually because we are stockpiling oh, what's that okay family apprenticeship work that's all good what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually do half shifts on that one that will give us a few more workers back and let's get let's get breaking over to this one I feel like this is gonna be the, the way to go I'm just gonna do two of those that's all good extraction district on that coal mine I do need to research dutiful youth <laughs> I keep, keep forgetting that uh, youth dutiful youth developed that idea okay are we now no we're still not good enough on coal so let's expand it I'm gonna put another coal mine down if I can there is grinding coal mine and I want to get that uh, this one down don't I the refurbished goods factory that would be very useful oh I just heard the the bell toll I think some people died Okay, in terms of laws, let's have a quick look. Contagion prevention, society, funerals, no survival, food additives. Yeah, let's see that one. Foraged food additives. Yep, that's all worked. Fantastic. Loving it. Right, these guys have... Uh, finished over here I think so we'll leave the resources uh, cool and then it's pointing us to Sea of Ice so let's get let's get over there ASAP it's going to be 23 weeks promise kept to the ice bloods that's great what I will do as well so we can request funds from these I am going to request funds that's going to give us some more heat stamps so we can start building because we are in a kind of a deficit on housing but that's fine that's fine we don't have enough workforce to do anything so what we could do and in fact what i am going to do i'm going to put this on half shifts they give us a bunch of workers back because we are like we did have a good stockpile of food um oh, I only five more workers <laughs> that's that's a bit silly anyway uh the materials are full let's halve this one that's gonna give us more more workers back so yeah let's get this housing district down before the white the white outcomes so I'm going to yeah let's just do it down this way and I'm thinking about expanding that as well actually because more people will come in a in a, in a little while I think yeah let's expand hmm I probably want to break ground first here They can live on the mountain side or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Cool. So storm is hitting the city. They have reached the 
those guys reached the Sea of Ice expedition, which is good. The lack of works, the, the lack of workforce. You know what? We're not doing too bad on workforce. The only thing we are not doing well on is the overdrive. We need to turn that on. Coal, I feel like we should we should have stockpiled a bit more coal, which I think I'm going to start that now. So fuel depot. I say I'm going to start it now. I'm going to start it after the whiteouts happened. <laughs> it's like um, a little bit too late, but it's fine. Did we build that hospital? I don't know if we did. We definitely didn't build the refurbished goods factory, which we are going to do. This I think we can put back on normal shifts. And this one over here we could probably put back on normal shifts. And then hope that more people are going to uh, appear after the storm has gone. That's what I'm hoping. These guys have explored, so we'll come back later. And a spoonful of oil. So we need to go to the Sea of Ice again now. Uh, so we've got a white out in the city, so we can't explore at the moment. We only need 10, 10 people or 10, 10 crews. We just got 2,100 more people. I am going to actually just turn this one off now because we don't need it. We only need 10 to go find the oil, but we need more housing. That's what we need. So I'll, I'll expand this one here. That's what I'll that's what I'll do. Cool. Deteriorating infrastructure. I don't know why. Because we're looking good for everything. And we are we are getting another white out in a little while. But hopefully we'll find the oil before that. I'm going to put a fuel depot. I know that's already down, isn't it? So we've got space for 60,000 coal now. We should probably turn over drive off. <laughs> Let's turn that off. We're stockpiling everything except for food. And that's because that's on half, half shifts. Okay. got nothing left the biodrum um the biodrum hothouse produces more food thanks to foraged additives amazing so we are stockpiling everything except for the materials and that's because that's full so we may as well get get one of those down let's put a let's put a stockpile down for everything right why not Oh, disease weakens the workforce. I mean, 300 people, 350 people absent. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. We could, could be worse. What are we doing here? Advanced coal mines, worker shifts. Yeah, let's do weather adjusted shifts. And what's happening here? There's so many things going on here. Lack of required deposit. Okay, food has run out over there. Okay, and the playtime will will finish in 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 fifty weeks. We need to get to uh need to get to um where are we going now? I swear we sent people out. Or did we? We'll launch expedition over to twenty over to there. It's twenty six weeks. Maybe destroying the logistics centre. Cancel that? I don't know. Okay, something, this, whatever, I don't know, I don't know. I need to expand this one, don't I? This is not working, needs repairs, okay. That's good. We're back in, back in, back in production there. Let's just break ground over here quickly. So we can expand it. What's happened here? Oh, they become protesting everything's going everything's going wrong <laughs> everything's going wrong and now we've got more people living among us among us 
Uh, right, that's run out of resources. This one here is protesting, so we've got no coal coming in. We've got 5,000 workforce. And the wire tower is just about to hit. Tensions are brewing. But let's get this explored. Liquid Hope. Investigate. We've done it. We've found the oil lake. Amazing. <laughs> so this is the second uh, the second ending to this. Broken Shore. This is another colony. And I'm thinking we will be able to build here in the main game. But that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. I'll see you on the next one.